Hello, so we're here at Life Stands. Um, they are closed, um, but the area is very well maintained. Um, they obviously aren't seeing patients today. They're closed. Um, there's no vacant lots. I don't see any wildlife. Um, yeah, here's Life Stance. Thank you. Hey, this is still water counseling. Uh, so to answer the first two questions on here, it's they see around an average of 15 to 20 patients a day. Uh, the facility is very well maintained and very clean inside and they were very welcoming as well. Um, there's no trash or abandoned cars or any vacant lots around here. Um, this is uh, individual one-on-one -on -one counseling. They have about five to four to five uh, practitioners or uh, counselors that serve in this office. Uh, and they are open to all sorts of uh, patients. Yeah, and that's it. Thank you. Hey, we're here at Surpass. Hi, this is Surpass on um, Behavioral Health. Um, they specialize here with pa with students that have with 14 patients um, that currently deals with behavioral health, such as autism. Um, there is a police in the background. <laughs> It's kind of guiding. It is heavily, well, not heavily, but there is police presence, so it that's is. good. Um, um, there is a little trash on the ground, but other than that, I mean, it's a nice parking lot. And it is well maintained as well. Thank you. Hi, so we're at Live Oak, and they see about 25 patients a day, and um, they are normally one on one, and they mostly see autistic children. And so here we're in the parking lot. It's a very well-maintained, um, like professional uh, building street. You know, it has a bunch of offices. It looks very well-maintained. Shrubs are nice and cut and pretty. Um, no trash. It looks very clean. Thank you. So we're here at the Columbia Counseling Group. Um, on the door says by appointment only. We knocked, there's no answer. Um, so maybe they were in a session, but it is one-on-one -on -one and there's only one doctor at this practice. And, you. and the parking lot is somewhat kept up. You can tell the grass is a little uncut, um, but there is other people here. The parking lot is somewhat full. Um, yep, thank you. Hi, so we're here at Love and Care Exceptional Services, and so this is like an extracurricular um, kind of after-school program for uh, children with special needs. Um, ages 4 through 20 can attend the school. They must be enrolled in a school, though. Um, and so this is kind of based on group therapy. Um, she said they also double the amount in the summertime, so usually around 60 um, patients um, come here during the summer. Um, and so we're here on SRP Drive. It is a very, it's kind of vacant, but there is a lot of medical buildings on this road. Um, it looks very well maintained, you know, in a populated area. Thank you. So we're here at West Augusta um, Psychiatric Services. Um, there is no sign to the place. All it says is the MD's name. He is a psychiatrist. Um, Obviously, as you can see, it's not very well maintained. There's no sign um, and there was cobwebs in the doorway. So it is not very well kept up. Um, we knocked on the door, no response. Um, that's about it. Yep. All right, so we're at High Focus Treatment Centers. This is a counseling uh, place that offers individual and group counseling. They deal with adolescents and adults dealing with uh, substance abuse. Uh, they also just do normal mental health um, sessions and then they do family sessions as well. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And they so see nice. 15 to 20 patients a day. Yep. And, they, and the yard is kept up. Yeah. And what is that? What'd you say? The yard is kept up. So oh it's yeah. Very well maintained. Facility's yes. nice. The it was facility very... is new. It, it was just built vacant. in November. Yep. It was uh, it was really nice and uh, welcoming. Yep. Yep. Get one. Hi. Um, we're here at Evans Mental Health Associates. Um, 
they see about 28 patients per day and they normally see patients that are ch children or adolescents. Um, they mainly support the families as well. Um, and that's it, right? And they're one-on-one. Yep. -on -one. And, and they're also one-on-one. -on -one. And so the parking lot looks well-maintained. Beautiful. Beautiful. Flowers. Flowers, okay. shrubbery. Okay. The entrance to the door. Very pretty. And there's two, it looks like it was two um, practitioners where there yeah, is. Yes. Okay two doctors. Thank you. So we're here at the Columbia County Library. Last week we all attended um, an Alzheimer's support group here. Um, about four members were present. The Alzheimer's Association runs this group. Um, they talk about caregivers and their families and it is a very pretty facility, nice parking lot. There's many, many things around this area. Thank you. Hey, my name is Sam. I'm going to start this off by talking about boundaries to healthcare. So in Columbia County, I found one of the biggest boundaries was scarcity of locations. Um, for those who live in rural areas or even in the city, there's not that many options for like a public free mental health crisis center. Um, another big boundary was that everything was like a scheduled in advance and had to make payments. Uh, to get access to it. It was locked behind some kind of economic barrier. Um, then the second one is transportation. There's no public transportation routes here, so everything is accessible by private vehicle only. So for those without a vehicle, they'd have to seek out transportation to get to these appointments. Um, and then lastly is the people in the community. Uh, most of the people that were served at these centers were uh, middle class and working class um, citizens. Hi, my name is Alexandria Gilpin, and I'll be talking about protective services in Columbia County. Um, there are around 16 fire departments in Columbia County, and there's about six police stations over Columbia County, including Appling and Grovetown. Um, we did see many um, police cars um, patrolling the areas. Um, we also saw a couple policemen on bikes. We did see a police presence at the Surpass Behavioral Health Clinic. Next, I'll be talking about ethnicity. Um, most of Columbia County is accounted for white and African Americans. Um, those are the highest ethnic groups in the county. Um, there's a lot of Baptist and Catholic churches in the area, and there's not um, a whole lot of diversity in um, like the restaurants and the stores. A lot of it is like quote unquote quote unquote American food or American style clothing. Hi, I'm Ponicia Borns, and um, I'm covering churches in the area. Um, as Alexandria had previously said, there are about 19 Baptist churches in the Columbia County area. There are about five Catholic churches, and there are four Buddhist temples. Um, and also, there is no evidence of drug or alcohol abuse in the Columbia County area. Um, the area was well kept. Hi, I'm Ropnika Searles. Um, I am going to cover politics. Um, there is evidence of political activity in the area. Um, we have seen a couple signs in public areas and also private homes. Um, based on our evidence, we feel the area is adequate to deal with mental health issues in the area. Um, there is a lot of facilities in the area, but not with a lot of public access. Um, but that's all for now. Thank you.